What's up guys, this is The Honest Outlaw here, and today we are gonna be doing a little bit of a versus video. We are going to be talking about the Ruger Security 9 versus the Taurus G2C. Now I've had some requests to do this versus video because these are two of the best budget pistols on the market today. I wanna to mention my patron supporters, thank you guys very much. Because of you, the channel keeps moving, I get to buy guns and gear and all that cool stuff that you see for review. Because of that, we do a monthly giveaway, and we also do some patron only content so you can go over there and check that out on patreon if you're a supporter i also want to mention ammo.com they're a longtime supporter of the channel and i leave a link in the description below for 20 bucks off any order of 200 bucks or more now getting back to the versus video i have already done thousand round reviews of each of these pistols so if you want to see them in absolute detail you should go over and check those two reviews out but for now, I'm just going to kind of quickly go over what they are and then compare some of the categories that I do in the review against each other. So the Ruger Security 9 is more of a double action style pistol. It actually has a hammer back there and it has kind of a unique firing mechanism in comparison to a lot of polymer frame pistols. It's actually a nylon reinforced grip by two, I believe, instead of polymer. And it comes in right around $300 with a four inch barrel and a 15 round magazine of nine millimeter. The Taurus G2C actually has a little bit shorter barrel. I think it's around three and a half, similar to the size of a Glock 26 with a Glock 19 size grip. So it's gonna have a very similar size grip to the Ruger, but it's gonna have a shorter barrel. Kind of think Glock 26X if you're a Glock fan out there. It's gonna have a striker fire trigger. One of the advantages to the trigger is that you get to reset it without pulling the uh, slide to the rear. So if you like doing a lot of dry fire practice, it's a pretty cool little gun for that. It is also in nine millimeter and it has, I believe 12 round magazines. Both of these guns also have safeties, as you see right here. So the Ruger has this safety right here, which on the full review I actually complained about because it is a poorly placed afterthought in my personal opinion. And the Taurus G2C here has a safety as well, which also is not perfect, although I would take it well over the uh, Ruger Security 9. So if you're looking for a pistol with a safety that is usable, I would go with the Taurus G2C. Now both these pistols come in at a very low cost, however the Taurus is a little bit cheaper. So the Taurus is around 170 to 250, depending on where you get it, average is around 200. The Ruger Security 9 is somewhere between 300 and 350 generally. So you're gonna pay about 100 bucks more for the Security 9. So overall the guns are fairly similar, they shoot the same caliber, where they shoot a similar capacity and the Taurus is a little bit cheaper, but how are they in reliability? Well, I actually believe the Taurus is a little bit more reliable. Personally, for me, I've had a little bit better experience reliability-wise with the Taurus. I've got about 1,500 rounds through it now, which I can't even believe I'm saying because it's a Taurus. And traditionally, Taurus has a track record of being pretty awful. And uh, this is probably the best gun that Taurus has ever made. 1,500 rounds through it so far at 200 bucks. And it has been absolutely Absolutely flawless. The Ruger Security 9, I have a thousand rounds through. This actually isn't my gun. Thank you, William Chappell, for uh, sending this in for review. He's a, he's a viewer of mine. He likes the channel and occasionally sends guns into me for review. So I really appreciate that. But I've got about a thousand rounds through this gun and I think I had two malfunctions. I want to say both of them were double feeds. I've also heard of people having malfunctions with the, uh, the little trigger dingus here and where it gets stuck and it won't uh, come out there so the trigger won't operate. Although I haven't personally seen that myself. But as reliability goes, I'm gonna to have to give it to the Taurus. Now in accuracy, you would think that the Security 9 would be more accurate because it has a longer barrel, longer sight radius. So now we're gonna take the Ruger Security 9 here, shoot it at uh, 50 yards, and miss. What the hell? All right, so not the most accurate gun I've ever shot, at least for me. 
However, I actually believe the Taurus G2C has a superior trigger, so they kind of even out. If I was shooting at 50 yards, I would probably not take either one of these pistols if I had a choice of all of my handguns. However, if I had to make a hostage shot or I had to make a very accurate shot under stress, I would actually probably go for the Taurus over the Ruger simply because it has a better trigger. And I can show you both of those here real quick. So this is the Taurus trigger. As you can see, a whole bunch of a whole bunch of pre-travel there. But then it gets to a very predictable wall and a nice clean break, which isn't very heavy. And then the reset, not great. And there's no audible reset, but it's a $200 gun. And then you have another nice, pretty clean break. I don't mind the trigger at all on the Taurus. And one advantage is is that if you're dry fire practicing, you can actually just keep pulling this trigger and resetting and pulling the trigger and getting used to that. Got the Taurus G2C out here and we'll see how it does at 50 yards. Not too bad. Works. The Security 9 has more of a double action trigger pull. It's a little bit heavier, a little bit spongier, and the reset's a little bit longer, uh, making it a little bit slower to shoot rapid fire also. So if I gotta go with accuracy, I'm honestly gonna give it to the Taurus. Now we're gonna go with track record. And for this, I gotta go with Ruger all day. As far as company track record, customer support, and if you ever have a problem with the firearm, are you gonna be able to get it fixed? Ruger 100% is going to be better than Taurus. Taurus has a record of not only making unreliable and cheap firearms, but they also have a record of never fixing people's firearms once they're broken. So I understand that it's $170 to $200 pistol, but I want you to know that if a problem happens with this firearm, a, good luck getting it fixed, and B, if you might be better off just buying a new pistol altogether for the $200 price tag that it has. What about shootability? And what I mean by that is being able to shoot the pistol quickly and accurately at the same time. And for that, I'm gonna have to go with the Taurus. Uh, the Taurus actually has pretty reasonable recoil control for the size of pistol that it is because it has a nice, large, fairly ergonomic grip in comparison to the Ruger, and it actually has better texture as well. Now, the Ruger, uh, the Ruger trigger guard feels more comfortable, so you can get a little bit higher on the gun. However, the uh, texture on the Ruger is really, really not great, whereas the Taurus G2C has it in the right spots, and it feels just aggressive enough to keep that pistol in your hand and you can drop some rounds pretty quickly if you need to. Yeah. Shoots nice. It really does. If I can load the damn magazine. The controls are a little bit sticky. I've noticed like the trigger at the beginning was a little bit sticky. The uh, slide release was a little sticky. The size of the Taurus makes it slightly easier to carry as well, although the downside is you will have three less rounds. Some of the things I really like about the Ruger is I like the trigger undercut, I like that the uh, magazines can be easily stripped, I like that cool little indent they did in the grip for the magazine, I like that it has a full length Picatinny rail, I like that it has a full size 4 inch barrel, not only to help with accuracy a little bit because of the sight radius, but it also helps with hollow point expansion. So a 4 inch barrel is going to expand hollow points just a little bit more reliably than a shorter 3 or 3.5 inch barrel will. So you're gonna get a little bit more velocity and a little bit more hollow point expansion. So if you choose the exact same round in both guns, you're probably gonna get a slightly uh, better, uh, you're probably gonna get slightly better killing power with the Security 9. So that is definitely an advantage to the Security 9. You also are gonna have three rounds more if you're into that kind of thing. Now with the Taurus, probably gonna get a little bit more reliable gun, 
that is going to work a little bit more reliably because the if you choose to use the safety, personally, if I would carry either of these guns, I would choose to ignore the safety completely. But if you're gonna use them, this is gonna work a little bit better. It's gonna be a little bit more reliable overall. It's gonna have a little bit better trigger and it's gonna have a little bit more a little bit better ergonomics overall as well. I prefer shooting this gun over the Ruger. However, the downside is it's not made by an American company and it's also not going to be backed up by good customer service. Can we step four? Oh, they're right there. I was like, can we step four target? It's really hard to see the targets right yeah. now. <laughs> So overall, if I had to pick one of these two firearms to carry, I think you can kind of get an idea of which one I would pick already, but the answer is going to be the Taurus. And I can't even believe I'm gonna say that. I can't believe I'm gonna say I would pick a Taurus. That was the problem I had with the with the Taurus G2C review in the first place, is that it kind of stunned me. I have never had a Taurus before in my life that I would actually carry. If I didn't have all those other handguns and I had to pick a gun for under $200 that I would carry, it would 100% be the Taurus. And even though the Ruger is $100 more, I would probably go for the Taurus still just because I could operate better with this gun. And I really could function better overall in a defensive situation with the Taurus, I feel like. I feel like I trust it a little bit more in reliability, at least between these two samples that I have here. I trust it a little bit more in accuracy, and I just feel like I could get rounds on target a little bit quicker and a little bit more reliably with the G2C over the Ruger Security 9. However, again, if you're not into the whole buying, uh, buying overseas firearms, which I totally understand, uh, the Ruger Security 9 is a pretty reasonable choice, and in all reality, it would make very little difference with the accuracy in close range or in a self-defense engagement. However, the reliability is kind of a sticking point with me. I did have two failures with this, and I've had zero with this, so it makes me much more confident with the Taurus overall. If you guys have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the, in the comment section of the video. If you didn't like my choice and you really prefer the Ruger, let me know why in the comment section below as well. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Please stop out your local homeless shelters and remember to recycle. I'll check you later.